Boris Johnson is facing intense backlash over his decision to block the 30-day suspension of Tory MP Owen Paterson. Laura Kunzberg has said, the former cabinet minister was found to have committed an egregious breach of lobbying rules on behalf of two companies by the Cross-Party Standards Committee. But, with the backing of the government, MPs voted against suspending Mr. Paterson and in favor of changing the system for investigating standards breaches altogether. Mr. Paterson has denied the charges made against him and has called on the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner to quit. The government's backing of his position has received fierce backlash from all sides. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer wrote in The Guardian that the behaviour of the Tories needs to be called out for what it is, corruption. The blasé manner in which the Tory party acts, the Trump-like attempts to fix the system to its own benefit, the complicity of those who justify and enable it, shows that it is now, inevitably, covered in fleas. The BBC's political editor, Laura Kunzberg, makes it clear, however, that criticism of the government isn't just coming from the opposition benches. The blowback to yesterday is intense, she wrote on Twitter. One Tory insider says people are going absolutely mad at what looks to many like a terrible calculation, given that they were issued with a three-line whip, the breaking of which is usually met with firm repercussions. Most Tory MPs backed the government in the vote on Wednesday. But away from the voting chambers, Tory backbenchers expressed their frustration with the government's decision. I think it's appalling, one MP told Politics Home. Quote. There is very little support on the backbenches, another was even more blunt, saying, well it's s asterisk asterisk t, isn't it? The motion to reject the verdict of the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner was tabled by former Cabinet Minister and one-time candidate for Prime Minister Andrea Leadsom. In a debate held before the vote, Tory MP Aaron Bell told Mrs. Leadsom that by bringing her amendment today, it looks like we are moving the goalposts. But the Prime Minister's press secretary says the vote was about more than Mr. Paterson's suspension.